you've been following these videos, these backyard outdoor videos, you know the idea is to get you to go outside into your yard and take a closer look at the nature that's all around us every day. And I've talked about birds and I've talked about trees, I've talked about worms. Um, what I'd like to do now is talk about a mammal that visits everybody's yard on Long Island. And of course you know what a mammal is, right? A mammal is something that has a vertebrae. There are only five groups of animals that have backbones. Can you think of what they are? Mammals are one. What do you think the other four are? If you think you can guess, then you can turn off the video now, see if you can guess, and then I'll come back on and tell you. Well, they are amphibians, reptiles, birds, and fish. So those are the five animal groups that have backbones. But mammals are different because mammals are warm-blooded, because they have fur, and because they nurse their young. We're going to talk about a mammal that's visiting everybody's backyard, and it's a special kind of animal, that, a special kind of mammal that we put into a group called rodents. So let's see what a rodent is. Okay, so a rodent is a mammal whose front incisor teeth are constantly growing. The picture that you saw in the last slide is this guy. This is a nutria from Louisiana, and I thought you could see the teeth better if, you, if I showed you this. This is a squirrel. You see how much smaller it is? A little bit harder to see on the camera. So let's just take a look at this for a second, because not only does it have front incisor teeth, but it also has these grinding teeth in the inside. And the squirrel uh, is an omnivore. It'll eat anything. It'll eat nuts, it'll eat berries, it'll eat fruit, it'll even eat small animals that it's able to catch, like a baby bird. Um, so in order to keep these teeth, which grow six inches every year and grow throughout the life of the rodent, they have to constantly gnaw on something hard, like a bone or a, a a bark of a tree or a hard nut, but they especially like the bones because not only does it help them sharpen their teeth and keep their teeth short, but it also gives them calcium and minerals which they need. Let's take a look at a squirrel with a bone. Okay, so if you haven't guessed already, the rodent that comes into everybody's yard and is everybody's neighborhood on Long Island that we can all see and, and watch is the gray squirrel. Um, you may not know it, but there are two groups of squirrels, and scientists put them into two groups, ground squirrels and tree squirrels. Ground squirrels on Long Island are animals like groundhogs or woodchucks and chipmunks. They live on the ground, they live in the ground, they actually burrow in the ground, so they're considered ground squirrels. We also have two different types of tree squirrels. One is the flying squirrel. A lot of people are surprised when I tell them we have a large population of flying squirrels on Long Island because nobody sees them because they come out at night and they're very secretive. But the squirrel that we're going to look at today is the eastern gray squirrel, and he is not shy at all. He comes out in the daytime, and he loves to play and frolic, and it's easy to watch and get to know him a little bit better. So that's who we're going to look at today.
call it the eastern gray squirrel, but it's not always gray. There are black versions of the squirrel, there are white versions of the gray squirrel, and even the gray gray squirrels are not all gray. Some have a lot of brown in them, some have more white in them. Um, so gray squirrel is just a general term. In New York State, there's also a red squirrel, and red squirrels are found everywhere in New York State except for Long Island, and nobody knows why. Let's take a look. The other thing about the gray squirrel's coloration is that his abdomen, his belly, is white. And this is what scientists call obliterative countershading. And it's like if you've ever seen sharks, you know that their top is dark and their bottom is light. That's so if you're looking at them from above, they blend in with the bottom of the ocean. And if you're looking at them from below, they blend in with the sun that's coming down. Well, it's the same effect in squirrels. They're climbing in the trees, um, and when their belly is against the trunk, they blend perfectly in. And when they're up in the trees and the light is shining down with their light belly, they kind of, that helps them to blend in as well. In fact, they blend in so well with their color and the trunks of the trees that sometimes they're there and we can't even see them. Take a look at the next slide. Probably one of the most distinguishing characteristics of the gray squirrel is its tail. It's a big, fluffy tail. And it uses its tail for different things. In fact, the Greek word, the word squirrel, comes from a Greek word that means he who stands in the shadow of his tail. Because he uses the tail to block the sun on hot days, to block the rain on rainy days, and he uses the tail also to wrap himself up in the wintertime to keep warm. He also uses it as a form of communication. And a tail flick, when you when see a squirrel flicking his tail, it means there's danger. Let's take a look. Okay, I've told you a lot about squirrels today, but the story isn't over. There's a lot of things we don't know about the squirrel, even though it's so common. So your job now is I want you to go out and take a look at the squirrels in your neighborhood. See if you can identify the different squirrels. See if you can determine what they're eating or what you think they like to eat. See if they're walking or hopping or running and what they do more. See how long, sometimes when they're in danger, they freeze. See how long they freeze, how long can they still and still and not move. Observe them and write down all your observations in your journal. And keep that journal up to date because squirrels are pretty fantastic, you know. They're acrobatic, they love to perform, they love to walk across the street and when cars are coming, they love to climb on the, the telephone wires. Watch them, they're amazing animals. <laughs> <laughs>